Welcome to Amro Music. Today we're going to learn how to clean and maintain a baritone or euphonium. First, let's take a look at the case. You want to make sure that the latches flip up. Carefully take out your instrument and your mouthpiece. Gently put your mouthpiece in the lead pipe as straight as possible. Now you're ready to play. But every now and then with your instrument, you're going to have to do some routine maintenance. If your valves feel dry or sluggish, it's time to clean out the valve casings and your valves and put new valve oil on. Do these one at a time because if they get mixed up, your instrument's not going to play correctly. Unscrew the valve cap and take out the valve. Then use your valve casing brush to scrub out anything that may be holding on in there. After that, it's good to roll up some paper towel and get out all of that old valve oil. Wipe away any of the old valve oil from the actual valve. And then reapply a thin coat of new valve oil before replacing it back into the valve casing. Give it a couple of spins on the way in to evenly distribute the valve oil. And then spin it until your valve clicks into place, then screw back the valve cap. Repeat this process for all three or four of your valves. Now it's time to clean your tuning slides. If they aren't moving easily enough, you need to clean off the old slide grease. I normally use paper towel for this. And then reapply a new thin coat of slide grease by hand. Make sure you take note of which side of the tuning slide goes where, because if you're cleaning a euphonium, each side is going to be a different size. Place them one post at a time to spread out the slide grease. And then replace the tuning slide making sure it's in the proper orientation. And repeat that process for all of the other tuning slides. And the main tuning slide on the back. You should use your cleaning snake to scrub out anything from your lead pipe, and you can also use it to scrub out the inside of your tuning slides. Make sure that the head of your cleaning snake never goes into any of the valve casings. This can cause scratches and air leaks. The tip of the snake could even become stuck in the valve casing and have to be taken out by a technician. Make sure to scrub out your mouthpiece with the antibacterial soap and warm water at least a few times a week. Polish off any fingerprints that you may have left on it while playing. If it's a silver instrument, you're probably going to have a silver polish cloth. With the silver polish rag I'm using, the pink side is the chemical side. That side will get off the fingerprints easily, and then after they're gone, you can polish that away with the gray side of the cloth. Make sure you blow out any excess condensation by holding down the water key and blowing quick, cool air through the instrument. Then place your instrument, your mouthpiece, and all of your accessories in the case, and make sure it's properly shut and latched. That's all for now. Have a musical day.